Hi everyone, so I am back with my March glossy box video and this month's box is just obviously the plain pink box, no special edition or anything like that. This has just come so I thought I would jump on and film the video so we shall dive in. So I have the little card here and let's get into this. So this is the contents of my March box. So first off I see this item and I have already had this item, this exact item in a glossy box. So that is a bit of a shame because I think it's nice to try different products and not get the same. Um, so this is the, um, the mask scrub. And on the card, this says that this is actually a full size item. It is 30 mil, so this is the full size. And this retails for £26.50. So obviously that's like your box price doubled over so you make your box price double in just that one item and um, so yeah that's the first thing then we have this figs in rouge and this is soft focus pore perfect hd plus matte veil hydro pore i love the packaging on this how cute is that and um, this is one fluid ounce it is again on the card this is that this is full size and this retails, whoa, this retails for £35, so again, a super duper, like, great um, product price-wise. I can't wait to try this. I love to try new primers and things, so that will be interesting to try out. Then the next thing we have is this Mud Masky Sleep Repair Renewal Nourishing Mask. So, in this month's box, I have two masks, which to me is kind of actually <laughs> three masks, because this is a mask here, so three masks in one box I think that's a bit much and um, but anyway referring back to the card this is the mud masky sleep repair renewal and nourishing mask this is not full size but it is still a good size it is 20 mil in size the full size retails for 61 pounds so this is probably like a really good value sample size or travel size one and um, it says it's repairing hydrating rejuvenating smoothing and protecting I have had a mask from this brand before it was kind of like a mud mask um, and I did really enjoy it, so it'll be interesting to try this mask. Then the next item that I have is this Orza Beauty lipstick. And this is in the shade, let's have a look, Arwa, A-R-W-E. And that is what that looks like. Just a kind of nude lipstick there. And again, refer back to the card, this is a full size item and this retails for £15.95. It says it's a warm nude lipstick. Um, the Velvet Ribbon Lipstick range by Orza has a weightless, semi-matte and satin finish. So £15.95 for that, which again is more than what your box is worth. Um, and obviously in nude colour, it's shown up a lot more lighter on camera than what it is in real life. It's a bit more peachy toned in real life, but quite a nice lipstick nonetheless. Um, doesn't have a scent or anything. Um, I don't know if you like the packaging. is a little bit cheap for a lipstick that is £15.95. I feel like the packaging could have been a little bit better. But I will use that nonetheless. And then the last item that we have here is this Good Morning AM mask by the brand Meg. And this is Purity and Glow 25ml. This is a full size item. And this retails for £4.50 and you can get it from megcosmetics.com. So this is kind of just a sheet mask. Um, it says here, it's an eco-friendly lyocell sheet infused with peppermint leaf water which helps purify and soothe stressed and tired skin. Whilst the hydrolyzed conchulin protein evens out the overall skin texture and improves skin tone. So yeah, it's just kind of like a sheet mask. You unfold the mask and place it on the face and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove the mask and pat the remaining essence into your skin. So this looks quite interesting. But again, like I say, I have three masks in this month's box, which I think I'm not very happy about because it's like... You get a beauty box to try different things, don't you? And you don't want to end up with the same things. But overall, it is quite a good box this month. So yeah, that is what I got in my March glossy box.